Imagine being an actor trying to make it big. You answer a casting ad hoping this is your big break only to find out it was all a scam. Yeah, it's happened and uh, this person's out thousands of dollars and play this police say this has happened to other actors. New at five eyewitness news reporter Carlos Granda talked to one of the victims. This severely affected me, my, my mental and emotional health. I, it was very difficult. Rigo Obezo is still upset and angry at how he got scammed thousands of dollars. He's an actor and thought it was good news when he received a job notice from who he thought was well-known casting director Jeff Hardwick. He submitted videos to him several times before. It was supposed to be a testimonial, commercial for Bitcoin. The project was to take video of himself at an ATM, withdrawing money, and then depositing it into a Bitcoin account. They told me not to deposit it through the teller because they wanted to see the efficiency of ATMs. I was like, well, that's kind of strange, but I did it anyways. I, re I, I reported it. The scammer sent him a check for $4,850 through priority mail for Obezo to deposit and use. It cleared at first, but several days later. The check for nearly 5000 bounced. And it drew, overdrew my checking account by, by about that $5,000. I was shocked more than uh, anybody when I, I was first uh, informed about this, yeah. This is the real Jeff Hardwick, who is outraged that someone is using his name and hurting his reputation. He says it's happened to other actors, and on his website, Hardwick has a warning about this scam. It's a terrible thing, and I've tried to utilize any sources I have to alert the acting community about this. Um, using the uh, legitimate casting websites to put out the word. Obezo feels the scammers probably got his email address from online websites for actors. He has contacted the police and the FBI, and since they did use the Postal Service, it becomes a federal offense. Investigators took all the information and filed a report, but didn't offer him much hope. They said, well, anything under a million dollars, we don't really take a look at it because it's, it's not considered a high priority. I'm like, so that means more people have to be scammed, ripped off, taken advantage of, for the FBI to even look at my case. Obezo wants to put this out to warn other actors who might get emails like this one. He says to make sure it's legitimate before moving forward. I'm Carlos Grande, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.